Okay ladies, so this is video seven, um, and this is our final video for my party presentation and all the information that goes with it. Just a couple tips for you. As soon as that party wraps up, engage with the customers. Um, depending on time frame, a lot of times I'll start putting some of the products away or I'll start re-displaying them so they look nice again, but I'll be talking to them the whole time. So asking them, hey, you know, what did you think? Or, or if they're talking about a particular item, oh great, what are you thinking of using that for? Um, just just keep sure you're still and make sure you're still engaging them and make sure that the focus is on them the whole point of the night is for them to get a break can i get you anything to drink oh would you like to see any other items don't pester them please know that but just keep staying engaged do not go off into the other room and sit down at your table waiting for the first person that is not <laughs> it won't work people won't connect the whole point people book with you if they like you and women like to be made feel made we like to feel special so make sure you're still constantly encouraging them and building those women up with genuine compliments um when i do close out i'll kind of you know look around the room and see and when a gal says hey i'm ready i'm like great step into my office and it's usually like in the kitchen or somewhere off to the side if it's a small house a lot of times i'll just have to sit down next to her i will tell you i prefer to be in private so that I'm not ever announcing her total to anybody else. We can do business and she's not feeling pressure from anyone. So she comes over and sits down and I'll grab her order from like, awesome. Oh, great. So you got this. Do you want anything personalized on it? The personalization, it's only $7. It's amazing. Everybody loves to see their name. What do you think? You don't have to be that wordy all the time. So we'll fill out the order form and then, oh, great. Anything else for you? Do you, do you know you're only $5 away from qualifying for another one? You know, you can upsell at that point. You can offer advice. When you're filling out the order form, for the most part, you don't want there to be silence. Keep asking her questions. Did you get everything that you wanted tonight? No, I really didn't. Even if she didn't participate in the game, that still doesn't mean she's not willing to do a party. If she did participate in the game, but she didn't get book a party, a lot of times they'll change their mind. And so asking her, girl, would you even be interested in doing your own party sometime? If she's like, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you on that. Well, my schedule does tend to fill up fast. How about we pencil it in and I'll check back with you about six weeks before the party and see if it still works. What do you think? If they say, yeah, sure, we can do that. We'll get them penciled in beginning of the week or end of the week. Which works better for you? I've already got my party days picked out, like what I showed you in um, like the tools I use video. So I've already got those uh, dates picked out and so I can guide her to those. Um, a couple other things. If it's somebody that I really like, I won't even talk about the booking to begin with. I will go right to, girl, you were amazing. I saw that you just asked so many questions about uh, what I do. And I would you even be interested in more information? Awesome. Give her the packet. Follow up with her within 24 hours. Do not overload her with information right there then, okay? When women are overwhelmed, they just say no. So just give her, say, this packet's meant to... Um, Peak questions. It's meant to, in, come on, what, you know what I'm trying to say. It's meant to inspire questions. There we go. Um, so just write your questions down and we'll get them answered when I follow up with you. Set up the time. You can from there go from order to recruit to then booking. Well, you know, would you like to still go ahead and pencil on a party? You'd be awesome as a hostess and they are so fun, fast, and easy. Your girlfriends are just going to love it. What do you think? So, and we're usually sitting like this. So, uh, you know, I'll just guide her through it. At the end, I give her the pink copy and say, hey, here you go, just hold on to this. My information's on the bottom. If you ever have problems with the product or you need anything else, feel free to call me. The yellow copy is gonna go to the hostess because everything's gonna ship to her and then you guys have an excuse to get together and see what each other got. So thank you so much for coming tonight. I really appreciate it and da da da. Did you want any more food or, you know, and then just keep engaging. Usually as soon as the first person starts checking out, the rest of them follow. Um, if they don't, go back and keep engaging. A couple other tips, don't help yourself to the food unless the hostess specifically offers it to you or the drinks too. Maybe water is okay, but this party, it's its not about, as bad as it sounds, it's not about your girl time, it is about making sure they have a great time. And then in turn, you're gonna have great results too. So biggest thing is have a good time. Um, yeah, awesome things are to come. And then make sure you tell me how your party went. I love hearing about that. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch all these party presentation videos. If you have questions, we'll get those answered on our next scheduled call. If we don't have a scheduled call, just give me a call and I'll talk to you then. Thanks, ladies. Bye.